are all right. Yeah. As it turns out. Did you play any? Yeah. What did you play? I played the latest in Chinese video games. <laughs> oh, boy. Go on. These video games are hella Chinese. I think. You played not only a Chinese, you played a Chinese beta. I played an open beta of <laughs> a that, Chinese video was game. That, was that video game fully China? Uh, no, because it was made by Raven. Oh. It's Call of Duty Online. <laughs> oh, God. Raven made that? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, it's just a big Raven logo. Uh, you, you know what? I, uh, sounds really depressing, but I'm glad they got to make a game again. Well, it, I mean, keep in mind that these are repurposed yes, uh, maps sure. and elements from old Call of Duty sure. games. But it's, they put out a product with their studio logo on it. Yeah, yeah. The Raven logo was in a game. It's been a while. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, uh, as, yeah. the, as the primary studio or whatever. So I spent the weekend. I decided uh, at the start of last weekend that I was going to play Call of Duty online. Okay. Uh, which is a Chinese only free to play. Chinese game. only free to play first person shooter. It's It just hit open beta not that long ago. Uh, and I was listening to the Activision earnings call and they mentioned it was an open beta. And I was like, oh, right. That fucking thing. I really want to see that f- weird ass thing. Um, and so I determined by looking around online that you did not need, it did, it was not IP blocked. Oh, you did not need to have a Chinese VPN or anything like that to proxy and, and fool it into thinking you're in China. Um, so yeah, I set about downloading a lot of Chinese things and <laughs> signed up for QQ. Okay. Uh, because, which is, uh, which is a Chinese, uh, messaging service, instant messenger service, email service. It's okay. like their Google. Okay. Um, I'm always fascinated about hearing about the, like, you know, the Chinese X or the Russian Y when it comes to like online, right. like it's social media ICQ. stuff. The Russian Y is ICQ. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. I know um, Russia has its own equivalent of Facebook. E- oh, and I can't remember called? the name. I think it starts with a V. I signed up for it. Really? Yeah. Wow. You're on a list. Uh, yeah. And what's the and, the and the Chinese equivalent of Twitter? It starts with a W. I can't. Weibo. Yes. Uh, um, the Chinese Google is Baidu. Right. Okay. Uh, and I encourage everyone to go to the Baidu Maps section for Beijing because they've made an entire, uh, like three quarter view pixel art version of. Beijing. Wow. So you can like scroll around? Yes. It's Weird. staggering. Wow. Okay, huh. I'll go check that out. That's a big city, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's pretty big. And they man, I had the whole thing, but they definitely have like the Forbidden City and stuff. Mm. So Yeah, I d- I designed it for QQ. Um and it, so Tencent is doing this over there. Okay. Um and, and all that they Q, I think they are QQ. So you use that as your login for the game and all that other stuff. And then I had to figure out how to download the game. Which took some time. I had to watch a lot of like way too long YouTube videos <laughs> of people painstakingly documenting this process that would have been better served as 200 words yep. uh, on a fucking list. page with maybe a couple of screenshots. But nope. Hey, the kids like watching videos. They do. And they like talking slow as fuck. While they, well, <laughs> hey, it worked. You know, like credit, I mean, credits do. Yeah, you know, to, you be, know. F- to be fair, you're undertaking a fairly Herculean task here. <sighs> yeah. I mean, as, as installing games goes, this is a more complicated one. Yes. Uh, yeah. So yes, the the step that the, there was one step in particular that uh, I I needed this this help for. But uh, anyway, I finally downloaded the game from China. Uh, there were people that like you know oh we zipped up the full install and threw it up on Mega. So you just no, download it thank there. You. I ended up downloading one of those and it didn't work. Mm. Um, and then basically I got the whole thing downloaded uh, directly from their servers. Tried to install it. The whole thing went to shit. It's just a nightmare. It's popping up an error that I can't read. Um, and I think if I had to guess, I ran into this problem with fantasy star online Two when I was playing that the Japanese version of that, where it has uh you know, when you launch it, it has like a little, uh, it's not, it's not punk buster, but it, there's some kind of like file integrity thing where they're like, Hey, we don't want people to cheat at our free to play game and fuck it all up. So, uh, it's running this weird thing. That's going to, you know, uh, maintain integrity. Um, and whenever I was running, uh, windows 8.1 beta, uh, PSO2's like checker would be like, we don't know what the fuck this is, hmm. so we're not gonna let you run this game at all. Um, and so that was fun. So I think that because I'm running the Windows 10 technical preview at home, that it's it's just not gonna let me do it. So like, oh, what is this? Some kind of Linux? Yeah. But the other thing I ran into that I, I ran into when I started installing it here uh, was that it doesn't. Uh, th- this this English version of Windows does not like Chinese characters in the path. Oh wow. So as soon as I renamed all of the directories to you know, whatever, uh, cool guy, English man <laughs> language. Uh, it, uh, it finally let me run it. 
And then I logged in and realized that it was asking me a question that I didn't know the answer to and wasn't even sure what the question was. Huh. Uh, there's So in China, everyone has a number, like a citizen's ID. It's okay. like, it seems like it's like a passport number type thing. and it's, Social security it's type your, thing. It's got your birth date and your address. So it's like people have reverse engineered what the number comes from. Mm. Um, and it's, uh, you know, your, your birth date and uh, some other numbers and a, a check some digit and stuff like that. So, uh, there was a website, uh, and I assume that it will come back up at some point. There was a website devoted to creating fake identities oh, for God. the purposes of, of playing Chinese video games. <laughs> wow. Well, this is getting a little, um, what's the word sketch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the word. That's the word you're looking for. Sketch. You're trying to fly under the radar of the Chinese government here. This is starting to get hey, a little iffy. Hey, we're not in China. Well, it's true. Exactly. We're in it's America. True. That's right. This is Just America. Don't, please don't create an international incident. Yeah, but I think they have a thing where they, they want your ID because the Chinese government likes to know who the fuck is online uh, at any given time. So they ask that question a lot, it seems like, in a lot of their internet services. Hence why someone had to create something that just gets past the, the these rough security checks or whatever. Uh, so it's the sort of thing where I guess if you're under 18, it'll limit your hours of play. They have a law in place over there huh. to prevent people from dying. Yeah, because it keeps um, happening. Because it keeps happening. It happened like two weeks ago. Yeah. Right? So so I had to then – so the site that is built to generate these IDs and has been around a long time, the one that everyone links to every time they're talking about, oh, it's easy. Just go here and click this button. It's down. <laughs> it was up on Friday. Okay. And then at some point over the weekend, it went down. So I don't know. So so I, so I then today I had to, like, go look at people's YouTube tutorials where they are making IDs and then just copy down one of those numbers because who cares? Um, <laughs> sure. And I entered that in and uh, and got all that stuff. The stars aligned properly. Uh, the, the Chinese government smiled upon whatever I was attempting to do. And then suddenly I was playing the first level of Call of Duty 4. <laughs> Okay. Uh, single player? Single player. Huh. In Chinese. Okay. And like in, VO and everything? Yeah. Huh. Chinese VO and... Uh, Chinese I, Price yelling at you. Yeah. Chinese Chinese uh, Captain Price. Oh, what is that? I'm trying to remember. What is the first level? Is it the game? boat? It's the boat. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The, the thunderstorm and that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah so you you're, you get on the boat and get to go below decks and it blows. You find the laptop and then everything blows up and you have to run out. Uh, but uh, but the difference is that every time I hit a checkpoint, it's giving me 10 XP. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> wow. Up, like you're just getting experience points as you go. Okay. <laughs> um, and then when you get out of that, it, tends, it sends you into like some firing range type stuff just to kind of show you how the controls work. And uh, then from there, it's got some competitive multiplayer. It has, uh, it has zombies, sort of. They don't like uh, – they're not a big fan of zombies and skeletons and that sort of stuff in Chinese culture. Yes. So they are robots. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, or they are zombies. Well, how would you describe them, Drew? you, you got to yeah, look at they're, them. They're, they're robot zombies. They're you robot shoot off zombies. their heads and, <laughs> and instead sparks of blood. I mean, are they, are they metallic? Are they look like people. They look like the Geth, kind of. Okay. But with clothes. But they're not androidy, like people looking no, robots. No, they're. Well, okay. they, they, well, they look humanoid, humanoid in nature. They, they, and look, they shamble like zombies. They, they look more like zombies. They animate like zombies. They use the same animation. Yeah. Yes. They don't bleed oil like Cyrax and Sector. No, well, they, they might as well. They, okay. they shoot sparks out of their. When you shoot their head off, sparks come out. Yeah. Okay. And then they fall over. Um. So that's in there. It's a it, it's a fucking really weird thing, man. So is there any more single player in there, or is it yeah. just that one level? Yeah, there's, okay. there's there's a like a campaign or something in there that you can play. Is it cobbled together from multiple Call of Duty games? Yes, but also, and then on top of that, the I I, need, I should go back and play Modern Warfare Two because I don't remember it the map being this way, but uh, it there was a there's a Modern Warfare Two level where you're you're chasing after some guy like you're you're in Brazil or, or Rio or whatever trying to I guess that's the, in Brazil. Is it the rooftops, the yeah, favela yeah, or the whatever favela yeah. stuff? Yeah, and, and that you see you see uh, the guy get tackled at the end of the mission. Yeah. And they catch him. It's that, but it was set on one of the multiplayer maps. So you're just running around a big circle on this multiplayer map, and then the animation of him getting captured happens. So it's like they're cobbling together different elements from different call of duty games into this thing and you know you're unlocking fucking perks and stuff along the way and theoretically you could spend real money i guess to get some of that stuff and a lot of cosmetic business too yeah, it's like a gold coin icon and another and another one icon. So clearly it's you know are, are these perks for like a single player thing or, or are you talking about no, multiplayer you, you can still play team deathmatch like you know okay. still, you still go in there and you can do that stuff as the, well the so. first match we got into was a like the map layout was, it was shipment shipment but it, but looked, it was it on, looked a little janky. It was on land. No, shipment was always on. Oh, land. really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> shipment, the super tiny one. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, long yeah, with all the cargo boxes yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Um, and uh, I was pinging it about two seventy five. 
Uh, and I, I, I don't know if I was playing against bots or other humans or, or what the deal was. It, like the movement looked good on screen, but I was just running up to guys and just fucking gunning them down. <laughs> it seemed like I don't know if my latency was giving me an advantage or what the deal is, but it also doesn't look um, quite like Call of Duty. It's like I don't know. Yeah, if, there's something about maybe maybe you know, we were running it at the, whatever the standard resolution was, and because yeah. all the options were in a language that none of us read, um, and I couldn't get it to swap to 1080. The player models look weird, uh, but I imagine that's because like there's a lot of cosmetic stuff. Like you could buy Captain Price's head, sure, and put it on your guy. I guess if you want just, with his hat. To me, it doesn't even look like the same engine. Like I don't know if I'm technically proficient enough to tell what engine it's you know using, but it just doesn't have that Call of Duty look to it. And it doesn't feel as snappy, but yeah, I, I like would a, say that's because the latency, more like than a crispness else. to Call yeah. of Duty generally. Yeah, it's just a, it's just such a bizarre thing. That yeah. might have just been the default settings because you know if you think about it, like they need this thing to run on you know Chinese internet cafe PCs. Yeah, so it's it probably like, default super low. Yeah, so I bet if I you know go in there and turn all the settings up, it, it might look a little more. You think you think this game would run on your car? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Uh, were you able to? It sounded like you kind of picked up a lot of the free-to-play stuff in there. Were you able to pretty much intuit like what the things were that you'd be buying, even if, if, if you couldn't read everything? Yeah, because it's it's you know you, you look at your loadout, you look at kind of you know the optics on a weapon, you look at the weapon itself, your secondary weapon. Uh, it had the old Call of Duty four kill streaks, that three five seven okay UAV air uh, airstrike helicopter. Can, can you shoot down the UAVs? I don't know. I didn't see any launchers, mm. so maybe not. Oh um, man, but. But yeah, that is that is some archaic ass Call of Duty. It's, it's yeah, it's a weird Can't throwback. Shoot down the UAVs. It's a, it's like, a, come on, it's just a really fucking crazy thing yeah. all, all around. More importantly, it has the uh, level up guitar riff. It does. Oh, excellent! Yeah. It's, it's just dun, 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 dun. Yeah. It's yeah. So <laughs> good. <laughs> so it's obviously worth playing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, it was an interesting little uh, adventure. Like I, you know, I, I wish I had not spent maybe as many hours as I did sp <laughs> as I spent on it. That was your weekend, man. I spent more hours trying to acquire it than I have playing <laughs> mm. so far. And you more know, like and a, we recorded the video, yeah. and, and I don't know how much more fun I'll play. I mean, it's more the more like you need to know what it is than you actually <laughs> expect yep, expect exactly. to play it for yes, fun. Right? I, I had to know. Um, um, I had to see that thing for myself. I'm kind of curious what other maps are in. So, I mean, I, I know that there's kind of a, a cultural reason that a lot of Japanese games are full of English. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, that, that that those circumstances don't necessarily exist in China. They but, don't. But is there any no or any Western language whatsoever I in this? I saw the or word just... iPad Mini in okay. there. I so think, it's... I think they're having a contest where you might win an iPad. So it's 100 percent Chinese. Yeah. Price and soap are still named. Yes, price. right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. see some. You see some some names in there. Yeah. Okay. Are, are they still the Americanized like look for the characters, or is it like actually Chinese? Yes. Price is price. price. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just I was wondering if there's anything to be gained from getting Engineer Regina to take a look at it. Yeah, so maybe, I don't know. We thought about there. it, but I, you know, the, the getting past that ID part might have been the only thing mm. that, that I would have, I could have gotten through faster. Yeah. Huh. Um, but yeah, we we I don't know. We clicked on all the buttons on the menu, and I, I got a pretty decent <laughs> sense of, of what does what. So you're doing international detective work here, yeah, and then I made it to level four. I leveled okay. up. All right. I don't know. It's. It's fun. The latency makes it like I, I, you know, if people are like sitting there thinking like, "Awesome, I'm going to go play Call of Duty for free, screw paying sixty dollars." Like the latency alone makes that a fucking dicey proposition. Sure. So I, you know, not like to it, mention all the Chinese. Yeah, all the Chinese. Well, whatever you get around the Chinese. Sure. Uh, it's it's not that hard, but the the latency involved just makes it kind of not fun. So I might I might say, don't do that. Does that have controller support? Did you look? I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, people have translated all the settings menus. I haven't looked at them close enough to, to know. <laughs> so they're a burgeoning Western Call of Duty online community. Yeah, there's a little, Weird. Bit, a little one. That's Weird. Been, they, they, you know, when it was in closed beta, you had to go like enter a lottery to see if you got in. And if you didn't, then the their answer was, okay, create another email address and do it all over again hmm. until you eventually get in. So all their tutorials haven't, have yet to be updated to say, you can just download it now. You don't need to win a lottery or answer a quiz. You just go. Um, I yeah, it's. I'm happy I took the trip. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you've you've imp improved yourself. It's this a fascinating a, product. Yeah. If you think about it, like this is the sort of thing that like makes good research for Activision. I mean, if you, if you think about Call of Duty sales and kind of how they have not been on the rise, 
uh, you know, eventually that that franchise crosses a bar where it starts to make sense for them to think about mm. something like this in the West. You mean in the West? Yeah. Um, so they're out there doing the research in the territory that only plays games that are free to play. And sure. uh, you know, who knows? Who knows if if any of that stuff yeah. will ever will ever find its yeah. way over here? Yeah, that's it's cool to hear about that stuff, though. That's... Yeah. Um. Yes. I'm. I'm. Again. I'm. I'm glad I played it. An odd thing. So is the Chinese internet less anonymous? Uh, as far as like, if, if everyone has to have this number or whatever, can you not log on to the internet anywhere without like identifying yourself? I'm not sure. Hmm. That'd be interesting. I don't know, but you definitely hear even over here. You hear a little bit in the news here and there about like you know blogger arrested yeah. stuff like that, and also like Google being blocked and just all kinds of like yeah, like the government selectively censoring parts of the internet. Yeah, over there and stuff like that. Right. So it's I I, I don't know how often, but it seems like you know Tencent wanted you to punch in your ID mm. and stuff to prove that you were over 18. Um and and stuff like that. So, yeah, wild. Did you play anything more domestic? Yeah, I played maybe the most domestic video game one could.